For this tonight, a former library employee tells Local 4 the public was never told that there was a problem. This is happening at Westland's Faust Library north of Ford Road on Central City Parkway. That's where Sean Lay is finding out what the library is doing to address this bed bug situation. Bed bugs first identified at this library back in 2013. Now, right now, library board attorneys are looking into if they can legally ban patrons identified as sources of bed bugs. And then there are those who are very unhappy that the public wasn't informed of the bed bugs right away. When you return a book to the library in Westland, what you don't see on the other side of the chute is an employee wearing gloves and a lab coat. You keep them for at least an hour. It's Mary Lesniak's job to place every item coming back into the library into one of several ovens to cook every book. It kills them. The heat in there, um, the temperature um, has to be at at least 120 degrees. When bed bugs were first spotted at the library in 2013, the library board put an aggressive plan into action to deal with them. A plan former employee Leanne Hensley says intentionally left the public in the dark about the bed bugs. Part of bed bug, you know, identification is a team, working in a team, working in a community to get the problem taken care of. And a whole part of that is missing. Some employees signed a petition urging the library to go public about the problem. Employees say they had to sign an agreement, not to mention library bed bugs on social media. One employee says a library supervisor wouldn't even say the word bed bug, referring to them as rutabagas in case a library patron overheard. Library board president Mark Neal says the library is now a leader in dealing with bed bugs. So why the secrecy? Were you worried that you were going to turn people off? Would by yeah, sir, certainly. Absolutely. There's not a single person out there that if you told them they might encounter a bed bug, bed bug here that wouldn't say, gee whiz, do I really want to go to the library? So one of our concerns was the opinion of people as well. So we asked more uh, about that from Mark Neal, library board president. He does say that a post went on the library's website once bed bugs were found a couple of years ago. He says signs did not go up to tell patrons about the problem at the library. He says because, quote, it is not a health hazard. Bed bugs are more of a nuisance. So on one hand, you have library board saying they're doing all they can and more libraries are coming to study how they're approaching the problem. On the other hand, you've got people saying they wanted to know about this problem a long time ago. They feel they were kept in the dark about it. Kimberly Devin, back to you. So, Sean, what's next? Is the library considering banning patrons, maybe? You know, we mentioned that at the beginning. That seems like an extreme uh, measure here, but here's what's happening. The board president, Mark Neal, says clean books are being checked out by the same patrons each and every month, and they're coming back with bed bugs in them. So to mitigate that, they're checking with their attorneys to see if they can keep those patrons out, uh, and they don't know if they can do that or not. It seems rather extreme, but they're checking with attorneys to see hmm. if that can actually happen and then work with those people to see if they can do something about the problem. All right. Sean, we appreciate it. I know you'll keep us up. Updated. Thank you.